Hello everybody, welcome to Art Club Week 4. Today we're going to make DIY bird feeders. Um, this is the materials that you will need to make your own bird feeder at home. It's basically stuff that you'll find around your house. Um, the first thing you need is some kind of roll. You can use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll like I have here. And then you just want to put some hole punches in it. Um, one on each side so we can hang it at the end. You will want some bird seed and some peanut butter. I also have a tiny roll too so I think for the example I'm going to make a small one um, and again we have the hole punches on there. I'm going to try using it with a, a knife to spread the peanut butter, but you don't have to do that. You can, you can use your fingers if you would like. I'm going to try not to make a mess, so I'm going to put my plastic bag down on the table. You can use paper towels or parchment paper to do that as well. A piece of cardboard will work. To begin, um, you just open up the peanut butter. One more material you do need is some yarn or string to hang your bird feeder at the end. I'm just going to put that to the side for now. So I have my peanut butter here and my roll that I'm going to use. And I just simply spread the peanut butter all on the roll. You just want to get a nice um, coat on there. The peanut butter is going to work to make the bird seed stick to your, your roll here. Um, and also it's non-toxic. So if birds, you know, get some of this, um, peanut butter, um, when they pick off the bird seed, it is not going to be as bad as if it was glue or another kind of, um, fusion. There's something else that fuses it. Um, so I am almost done here, getting the peanut butter all around. Oops, got some peanut butter on myself. All right, so in the end, it should just be drenched in peanut butter. So what I did on top of my plastic bag, it actually doesn't use that much peanut butter. So you might have a lot extra to make some more projects. Um, what I did was I just set it in a little um, tin here, baking tin. So that way I can just pour my bird seed inside the tin on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it, pour some on the bottom there. Okay, and I can always add more, but I don't want to waste the bird seed. So I have some bird seed down there and then I'm just going to roll this just like this in the bird seed and it will start collecting. Perfect. I think that the tin works really good because you don't, um, the bird seed doesn't come out, fall out of the tin when you're rolling. It keeps everything nice and, um, safe, um, content in there, kind of prevents a mess. So once you're satisfied with the amount of bird seed you have, um, it's okay if it doesn't cover every little piece of it. Um, if you do want to try to get those spots, you can just keep rolling and keep trying to collect more bird seed. So once you're satisfied, you just take your string and you're just going to string it through those holes on the top. Um, so you just put it right through the hole. So there's one of the holes right there. And then you want to 
you can reach in and pull it up and then pull it through the next hole. So you have it right like this. This activity is a little bit messy. I, I can see how it could get, you know, the bird seed can kind of fall off places. So if you do want to do this one outside, um, that is always an option too. Kind of helps with the cleanup that way. So just tie it in a knot there. Now you can hang it from a nail, a hook, or just set it outside, hang it from a tree. And um, hopefully the birds will come and enjoy this new tasty treat. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit of why we decided to do DIY bird feeders this week. So it's really important for self-care to create things, um, make things. But the other part of that is, is to invite beauty into your life. Enjoy the little things and um, just really pay attention to your surroundings and connect to your environment. So with the bird feeders, um, the act of creating the bird feeder is really good for self-care and using your creativity, it's fun. But it's also important that if you feel yourself being overwhelmed to use your senses and to connect to your environment. So what this does is it invites beautiful birds into your surroundings. So if you're getting upset, you, you feel yourself getting heated, connect to your surroundings. Notice the trees around you, notice the birds around you, see them, hear them and you know, feel the wind against your face, all those things are really good grounding techniques. So I hope you enjoy making your own bird feeder. I hope the birds will come and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.